What is good, all my dudes out there? It's your boy Roxel, and welcome to Little Misfortune. Click up here for the last video. Uh, we got through a lot of stuff, found out that this game is not exactly the most safe for kids game that uh, that uh, we have played. Basically, lots of drug references last video. So um, if you're into that, go and watch it. If not, don't watch it. Obviously. <laughs> If you don't like it, don't watch it. It's that simple. Like, okay. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? Oh, boy. That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel so, the same wait, way. So wait, does that mean it's already <laughs> almost over? This game isn't already almost over, is it? Come on. I was hoping for a long series. I mean, maybe I could play through it one more time. So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. Let's do right. this. First question, have you ever stolen anything? Have you ever stolen anything? I, I feel like she probably has. At some point before figuring out that it was wrong honest I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once I felt so bad I buried it in the yard and never told him oh, oh I'm so sorry for the both of you <laughs> second question are you happy right now are you happy right now like the thing is I have a feeling that like she thinks she's happy but she isn't really happy I'm, I'm still gonna go with yes yes I mean nothing bad is happening right now that makes me happy well then the last question do you feel loved no that's why I like my stony so much He's just a rock and doesn't get angry or sad. I wish I could be like that sometimes. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. That is a creepy face that keeps on showing up. Another missing kid. Hey, it's the logo. Kill Monday. What's this one? Two oh, kids. shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? <laughs> you won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay, nice. Dope, let's go. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. Fuck! The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Are we playing with the devil? Ah, that shovel. Okay. Did we just hide that shovel up our skirt or something? Y'all are probably screaming at the screen right now. If you've watched the video, then you know exactly which one I'm supposed to dig. How many graves are there? I mean, this one has a little fishing lure. Wait, can I go this way? Where are you going? The graves are waiting for you. Oh, really? I'm such a rude little lady. Let's keep digging. All right, I guess we will go from back to front then. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Not yet. So Mr. Uh, Bubbles is the last. Little la information. Mr. Bubbles was the last one. Uh, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never magpie. saw that window coming. Ha! Huh. I don't get it. Magpie, that's not a fish. Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep looking. So this shows that there are probably a lot of different choices that. It says. Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. Yikes forever. So that's a dog. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, we don't want to dig up a grave of a poo eater. That's gross. Hmm. 
Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm, erotic novel? Talk about crazy! Talk about crazy! Alright, let's go. Nah, this is obviously a cat. Very true. Is it so obvious, though? Okay, let's see. Little Lulu. The first pug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> That's a damn strong pug. No, I don't think this is the fish. What about this one? This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> okay, so it could either be the first one or the last one. Nah. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's dig up the last one. I'm fairly positive that the fish's name was Mr. Bubbles. So, like, uh, let's try this one. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Let's dig it. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay, exciting. This is gonna be a fish skeleton, you asshole. Okay. Eternal ha- oh. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal the happiness. fox's name is Benjamin. Sign, Benjamin. Okay. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. So what a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness. Looks back. like this is gonna I'm go sure on a little longer than I thought. Away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Yeah. Happiness to the eternal happiness. <laughs> Just out of interest. It looks like we can't dig up any more graves. Okay, so guess not. Let's go get Benji. All right, you dickhead. <gasps> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. <laughs> not, totally not cool, bro. Come on, Benjamin. Benji. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Mr. Voice probably did that in, like, an attempt to, like, make you, like, kill him or something. Three. Oh, shit, so I missed one. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. So are you, Miss Fortune. Alright, let's get after that fox. Get our eternal happiness back, which is probably we not with him. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. Alright. This is a cool soundtrack. This grave looks very, very familiar, but I'm gonna walk past it for right now. Aha, there, that hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry, nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay, you sound very sure, I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Only two? I thought it was gonna be three. I thought it was gonna give me a third try. Ugh. That was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Mr. Voice dipped on us, so that's bad. Alright. <sighs> Time to check this shit out. Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. 
Hey, we're insanely lucky. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, damn. I drop it. Ah. Uh. Can we find it again? Where's the needle? We can't find it again. Okay. Best 10 out of 10 fox repellent. Love it. Get it now. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. <laughs> Have you ever stolen something? Yeah, we're doing it again, apparently. Is there something past the lever? It looks like there's somebody else behind us. Hello? I guess, like, we have to pull the lever. That probably oh. moves the roots. Okay. It's gonna trap us. It's gonna trap us. It's gonna trap oh, us. Oh, there you are. Hey, Benji. What are you doing, Benjamin? Hey, Benji. Do I trust Mr. Voice or do I trust Benjamin? I know this is just a game and all that, but like, at the same time, why is there any reason that the thief would leave a note saying who it was who stole whatever it is they stole? And on top of that, is the fox's name actually Benjamin, and did we really just get to this, like, insanely coincidental, like, guess for what this fox's name was? It's leading me to think that we need to trust the fox and not Mr. Voice. I can play through this again. I can play through again. Owie! Asshole! What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake, choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. <laughs> Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin no, attacked me? No, he didn't. So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find the fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. No, I won't. I am going to find out other shit to do. There... Is there something over here? Hello, ma'am. I like your bag. It's kind of cool. What's with everyone in the masks? There's got to be something symbolic about that. Open fields... Is blatant? I don't know. Open fields is on fire. Uh, 1993, it looks... Is that the year? Local artist GM retires after incident. My son is missing. Let's see what's new. Is that a petting zoo? Well, the zoo, you know, with the animals? Yeah, kind of dope. I actually made a quick Google search. I found out that the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. Our mom is about to beat the shit out of us when we get home. <laughs> Centrum Glarian, okay. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Yes. Uh, wait, my shoe line. <laughs> she just casually missed it. There. Did you see? 
I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Ah, oh, let's just keep going then. Yeah, he's he's like a demon or some shit, but at the same time, that's kind of duh. Hi, you look familiar. What? I need to figure out like how I. Yeah, I could probably try 100% this game in my next playthrough. Miss them. Wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. Alcohol is a tool for relaxed communication. Alcohol is not a solution. Too much alcohol destroy your body. Indeed. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. That's very wrong. Hey, dude. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Return it. Wait, sir. You dropped your wallet. Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Let's scratch it. You win. You win. You lose. Aw. Ah, uh, no win. Maybe next time. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. My mom don't love me, but I got to play in a fucking, in a fucking arcade. <laughs> Happy face. Is this where everyone's it's getting it. these? Let's face it. Sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Facts. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. I mean, you never seem to be too tired to stop smiling. You're really good at this. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for hey, a Casey. while, though. Please tell me you're not missing Casey. Hey, dude! Your, your lottery ticket Look, wasn't a winner, by the way. even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Mr. Voice is the reason for all of these missing kids. Here we are. Nice. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Okay. Hey there. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved, and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> Alright, information board. What do we need to do? It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Okay, we now know. Right. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Uh. <laughs> I'm older than Mr. Voice, apparently. Alright, let's take a look at this. <laughs> Shake this out. 
that street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're eight! Chill! Excuse me? How dare you? Where is the puppy? Where's Did the puppy? Take the puppy? One should pet puppies, not take them and who knows what? I don't know, do you? Really? Alright. Yeah, it looks like uh, that's it. Okay, so we can't leave, so let's go and sit on the bench. Bench! Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. Sit. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. <laughs> Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, yeah. I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Yeah. Love yourself. Free of regrets, free of self-doubt, free of harm. I didn't get to read the entire thing. Oh, get happy, please. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> You're really funny, Miss Fortune. What did that say? There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. <laughs> Hi, cow. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> can't, click, can't click, can't click. Yeah, that's a little bull crap. Room for your life, little baby cow. Jesus. <laughs> Did you see that baby cow? Oh, unlucky things seem to happen all what the, the time. What the hell was that? That's <laughs> I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Awesome. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? No. What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store, and she got some free food. <laughs> but I haven't got any titties yet, so it might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. We will think about this, and then we will actually go through with the plan in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to join the Legion, and I will see y'all in the next video.